Right, welcome back to Amps with me, Johnny Doom. I'm joined on the sofa by a handsome bunch, uh, <laughs> Left for Red. Uh, hello. 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 Um, so yes, uh, I played you on the show, um, and I know you've got an album out, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, but yeah, I didn't know a lot about your band. I see you're playing a lot locally. I know you've played Bloodstock uh, a few times, I think. Uh, but uh, yes, just tell us. Uh, about Left for Red, give us a potted history or something. When did it start? It started in about 2009, I guess. Yeah. But there's lots of lineup changes, as there always is for bands. Mm. But then 2012, he come along and it settled. <laughs> yeah. And so through, so <laughs> about 2012, it's when it's really, you know. Yeah, got, I'm finishing touch, you see. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shop them all. We thought we needed ginger. That was what <laughs> proper, you know, icing on the cake. Mm. And are you all from the same area? Pretty much. Pretty yeah. much, yeah. He's from Sonny, all his posh boy. Oh. But the rest of us are like, you know, kind of dug oh, the yeah. The rest of us <laughs> are from the block. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, when you started, what did you, you know, what were your influences? I take it you're all kind of fans of, I don't know, the big metal bands like Pantera and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, definitely like Pantera in the early days. Yeah. Like and yeah, bands just varied, like some of us are into like yeah, Deftones as well and stuff like that and I'm into Maiden and stuff and Metallica, like when I was a kid that was the sort of, the big bands were sort of what influenced me. And, uh, so, so, so Left for Red's just a culmination of everybody's influence. Pretty much, yeah. When, yeah. when we first started, it was more kind of a lot more rap metal. Yeah, a bit based, more, a bit more a new, new metal, metal, rap metal based. based yeah. Well, it's, everything was uh, new metal back then. I had some baggy jeans. And and then what did you do? Did you just record some demos and kind of get out there on the local scene, really? Well, we start we started with our uh, our first EP, uh, Empty shell um, and not that that sort of got us out there and got reviews listening to us and things like that um, and then that, that's when we started to gig properly I mean it was put Chimera that was on the back of that EP yeah um, and then we started to uh, well then, then we started to work on Mercy Fault when Phil came in mm. uh, and we started going down to Monochrome Productions working with uh, Tom Gittins uh, down there and it just I mean, like he, he's just like our sixth member sort of thing. Right. Yeah, and, uh, good time with him, definitely. He sort of helped us sort of shape the sound a bit of the EP. Yeah. And uh, we released that, and that's so that was great. I mean, yeah, it was actually we won the Korean competition for TNA with that. So, and that sort of again lifted us to another level, and we were carried on with that. And so we went uh, back to it for the album as well. So. And you're one of those bands as well that kind of tries to bring people together, bring fans together. Didn't you recently? Uh, do something at the academy and kind of get it get it pretty full. I'm I'm sure. Yeah, we uh, we did our arm launch there with uh, Hills Ovation, uh, and basically we uh, we got a lot of our friends' bands. We got um, some friends up from London, uh, yeah. one for Sorrow, uh, as well as I Hate You More, Vex, and Beneath the Remains. So we w we wanted some the younger bands to come in, obviously. We're uh, not the uh, youngest of bands. We're not the youngest of bands. We, we wanted some younger bands to come in yeah. and obviously uh, play with us, um, as well as having some good friends with us as well. And uh, you said it was your album launch. Um, I noticed you kind of uh, had a proper release. You know, went through a label. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, I mean, tell us about the album anyway. What's it called for a start? People can get their hands on it. What's it called? Uh, it's called All Things Known and Buried, and you can get it from our merch store, which is on leftred.com. Yeah. Uh, a new website that we started up just before Bloodstock. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, you can get it off obviously download it, iTunes, Amazon, all that. So. Available for most but it, it came through my PR on my email, so you must be work. Were you working with? Yeah, someone? We're, we're working with the uh, SIM PR. Yeah, and obviously that they sent it off to uh, you know all the big uh, magazines and big radio stations and things like that. Um, and then I mean we've been working with uh, Ben Hello Records, who've uh, released that as well, and they're an independent record label. They're a small record label. Um, so would you recommend to other bands listening out there to use PR because sometimes you could do your own obviously. Yeah I think it, I think it helps because yeah. I think you can get to a certain level with your own PR but then I think it's good to have an outside you need, uh, someone to represent yeah. the band more. Yeah. So you you need of, somebody yeah, who's going to push. push um, it and, and then it looks like then it's part of something, part yeah. of a bigger, you so get, people take, take more notice. Yeah, you could take it more yeah. seriously. Um, and uh, what about the album? I, I mean, are you pleased with it? I've definitely played a track on the show, I remember, but yeah. uh, 
but but it sounded good. Sounded kind of well put together, you know. Um, have you you brought a video in which we're going to watch a bit yeah, later? Yeah, Master of the Game. Yeah, it's the one that you played, Master of the Game. Ah, right. Okay. Um, um, and uh, and really, I just <laughs> want to know what's next. Uh, for the band, really. Uh, more festivals, isn't it? More, more yeah, festivals. Yeah. Uh, we're going to record um, a video for our next single, Utopia. Yeah. Uh, so we're recording that with uh, Craig Hartwell over the next uh, month or so. Um, and then it's just touring. Then. Yeah, we've got to go down to Brighton and do Mammoth Fest. We're doing that. Excellent. And we've got Rock Diabetes in Trowbridge as well. And yeah. the Ashes coming up. Yeah, yeah some, a few yeah. festivals. And then we're just yeah, like December. We got to look, we're booking a tour in December, early December. So see us through to Christmas. Mm. Did you play this year at Bloodstock? Yeah. Yes. yes. And how did that go? Really awesome. Because I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know I was only there for a bit, and I was doing some interviews oh. and bits and bobs, getting sunburnt and drinking cider. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> I just noticed. So I, did, <laughs> but, so I did. I did miss your set. But uh, what uh, what tent did you play? New blood. New blood, yeah. New blood, yeah. yeah. And uh, they're a great crowd, aren't they, at Blood Stuff? Yeah, right? yeah, they're yeah. quite packed, and everyone was really responsive. Uh, su or support for all the New Blood bands has been great this year. I mean, it's just rammed in that tent. And it's, it's quite a friendly atmosphere. I guess it's a nice sort of size festival where it's not too big, where it loses the sort of community spirit. I think it's good. It's at a good level, I think. The, uh, I mean, I have to sort of give a shout out to the crew beyond, not back, backstage. It's so the crew are amazing. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I'm, I mean, I've obviously, we've, it's the. You know, it's that, it was our first time on Bloodstock, and it was just—I mean, I, it, just one of those things where it was ev everything was so run on to time. Yeah. Um, but they were chilled out as well, and obviously we were, we were nervous uh, before going on, and they just calmed you down, and it was no problem. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think we've ever done a gig where it's been so long ran so well where like yeah. you actually go back there and things happen that's supposed to have happened when they're supposed to happen <laughs> but, but isn't that indicative of bloodstock anyway yeah. it's, it's like this festival that's full of like you know loud bands extreme music <laughs> if you looked at some of the people there you know you go oh they look odd um, especially the guy dressed in cardboard as a kind of <laughs> yeah. a transformer. That was quite interesting. Um, but yeah, you know, you see all these people, but it's so chilled. It's the most mm. chilled mm. festival uh, I think I've ever been to. And and because it's only what thirty five minutes up the road from the Midlands anyway, yeah. uh, you just get this massive crew of people yeah. all know each other, uh, getting drunk you, and yeah, having. You walk around bumping into people you know, or you can see the gigs. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, it was sunny as well this year, which was oh, fantastic. Almost yeah. too sunny, I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely got a bit bad. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, lots more gigs uh, lined up for this year. Just keep us posted on those because, obviously, uh, I can give them shout-outs on the show. And uh, tell us about this video, then, before we just go into it. It's uh, based it's from um, Master of the Game. It's, all, it's based on our fears and us confronting our fears, really. Mm. Like, he hates uh, having his photo taken, being on camera. Yeah. So you love it? Yeah, I'm loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Yeah. it feels too far to clown. Dan right. doesn't like kind of ventriloquist dummies or children. <laughs> or children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Elsie does a lot of lift, so we just kind of kicked him in the lift. Yeah. yeah. And I don't like people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was the rest of the band. Yeah. 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 Just on your own. So we filled the lift with people. Yeah. yeah. So we filled the lift with people. <laughs> I mean, we, we, we got a load of friends down, and it was it was a fun fun time film. Oh, yeah. We had a really good time. Mm -hmm. Um, and I mean, like, it was all filmed at Rock Zombie in Dudley. So. Yeah. Ah, right, okay, yeah. Rock now I know Rock Zombie. Um, yeah, so we'll have a look at that. Um, it's weird making videos, isn't it? Because obviously there's not really much budget. Uh, you, just have to, <laughs> you just have to kind of try your best. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm sure people will see it's kind of DIY. Uh, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, it might yeah, good, so, they were happy with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. Are you one of those bands who does like to do something visual as well? Oh, you do. Yeah. I think, I think yeah. we're still going because when we figured our first video, we were like unsure of what to do, and now as we've got more into, the, yeah, making videos, we're sort of oh, we get a bit more of an idea of concepts, don't we? Yeah. Like what what you do, can do on a budget. What you can do on yeah. budget. It's like yeah. you know, we know we can't have like you know. Fire. Fire explosion. <laughs> CGI <laughs> dragon. We're, we're getting there. <laughs> uh, anyway, thanks for coming in, though, guys. Nice to speak to you, and good luck with everything in the future. Thank you. And uh, we might as well watch it, then. Master of the game. This is Left for Red on Amp. Mm -hmm. Just in a dance of motion I'm not playing by rules Have no meaning Have no worth Designed by rules Extreme, but then You're the cerebral and 
Yeah. <laughs>